Hello everyone and welcome to another Doom Charts Mystery Pick 3 where we take a deep dive into the most recent Doom Charts list. What are the Doom Charts you might ask? It is a worldwide group of music fans, bloggers, DJs, journalists, podcasters, and album reviewers from around the globe who get together each month to discuss their most recent discoveries in the heavy music community. Of those discussions, a top 40 is put together that becomes the Doom Charts. Of those top 40, 25 are given a blurb and that is what we're digging into here in a mystery style. I got all the numbers in here and we're going to pick at random, which is a fantastic way to go through this list and discover tons of new music every single month. First out in this episode goes to number 23. Coming in at number 23, Cracked Machine, Wormwood, Instrumental Post Rock, Progressive, Psychedelic Stoner, UK, Cosmic Artifact. Without losing the essence shown in their first albums, Cracked Machine delves into the depths of psycho progressive spaces and post rock in their most complex albums so far. Wormwood advances the sound of the band that does not need a singer to transmit the wide range of sensations that its songs contain. The inspired songs show images of madness with melodies that show us a new horizon in the evolution of the band that until now had offered us very pleasant sensations. They incorporate synthesizers into their cinematic story, Cracked Machine making their songs lean into an expansive space with which to make the listener participate in their particular musical story. Drinking in equal parts from the source of post-rock as from the spring of desert rock, the psychedelia of the British acquires its own personality through these striking progressive developments. Roberto Lucas, Denpa Fuzz. Excellent review, my friend, and I can't wait to get into this crack machine. That is one I did not get a chance to check out yet, so I'm glad it's on the list, and congratulations to Crack Machine for making the 23 spot. So let's see what else we're digging into. This is exactly why we're doing this. I can't wait to dig into that ASAP, which stands for as soon as possible. And that'll be exactly after I'm done with this Doom Charts dig. I'm going straight to that one. Number nine is next. Number nine. Coming in at number 9, Slow and Easy, Hand Me Down, 70s Blues, Hard Rock, Psychedelic, Retro, Stoner, Toronto, Canada, self-release. A trip into the surreal field with distortion, sensual vocals, and immersive instrumental textures, supporting their songs on the passion and drive of their singer, Kale Bennett, the band applies the less is more formula to their songs. Because these simple but fascinating five tracks are based on the acid blues of the early 70s, that sound was popularized by luminaries like Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Free, and that in the new millennia is rescued by bands like Blues Pill or even Lucifer in their calmer moments. Taking place in a retro setting, the songs flow between beautiful, sensual vocal passages and diffuse instrumentation drenched in cannabis smoke. Its moving rhythms and fantastic groove captivate the listener from the first riff in a party of vintage sounds enriched with fuzz and stoner riffs, giving them enormous strength without a doubt, an honest, simple job with magnetism that you won't be able to resist. Roberto Lucas, then put fuzz, Roberto strikes again with another damaging bit of stoner smoke. Let it rise, let it rise, let the weed smoke drip through the screen right now. Let it come in and let it be. Congratulations to Slow and Easy for grabbing that number nine spot. Let's find out what other psychedelic stoner doom drenched sludge gems we can find in the doom charts now. What's next? What's coming up next? I'll tell you what's coming up next. It is the super secret. Number 13, lucky 13! Coming in at lucky 13, Green Goat, AI, Stoner, Grunge, Sludge, Madrid, Spain, Argonauta Records, 
The Madrid duo Green Goat presents their album AI demonstrating that they are a band with character, a band capable of playing different things and doing so with their own personality, making good use of the progressions of their rhythms, distortion, and fuzz they create smoky and mysterious atmospheres in an environment of darkness. Its dense stoner and some progressive moments are nourished by brilliant harmonies and strong rhythms as well as careful melodic arrangements. This makes them appear as a different and unique band. Through immersive sequences and dreamlike landscapes, the duo continues to renounce metal elements and especially doom as the main argument of their sound proposal trying to convey the listener their power live, these songs contain sequences that will be transferred to their live performance to achieve an experience of authenticity. Roberto Lucas Den Pafuz, congratulations Roberto and congratulations to Green Goat on taking the number 13. I don't need that anymore. We're already three out. You're going to have to tune in to the next episode to find out what else we're digging out of the Doom Charts this month. Congratulations again to Green Goat for getting that number 13 spot. I will talk to you all again soon, but don't forget to go to thedoomcharts.com. Check out all of the other albums and blurbs. Don't forget to hit up these writers and bloggers and tell them that you appreciate what they're doing. Tell the bands and the labels you found out about them at the Doom Charts. Once again, my name is Bobby, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.